join forces, we won't have to deal with all of this. I'm not interested in a pretend relationship, okay? Do this for your parents. At least until wedding season is over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, that's your fake girlfriend? Dude! Oh. Well, I so enjoyed getting to see this film. It was so much fun. And, you know, maybe, uh, Paula V, let's start with you. Like, wedding season, it's vibrant and it's cultural. And, you know, it takes kind of matchmaking and finding love to a whole other level when the parents get involved. So talk a little bit about the story and maybe how you related to it. Well, I think the story is, you know, so relatable universally. It's about a woman who's trying to, you know, find her way in life on her own terms. And and, and maybe the aspect of her parents putting pressure on her to get married is, is quite cultural. But I think the way in which she goes about, you know, navigating that in a maverick way is something that anyone can relate to, um, no matter where you're from. And that's certainly what I related to in this character and what drew me in. I think... Um, you know, it's so important to tell South Asian stories in 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 today's day and age, and to 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 do that with nuance, and not to just create like these these stereotyped um, ideas about what it is to be South Asian. And one might argue that using the trope of a wedding is that, but I really believe this film is so much more, and it really gives voice to a community um, within the American diaspora that I don't think has been heard from enough, and. I'm really looking forward to, to people experiencing that through the film. And Suraj, one of the things that I found so interesting is that your character is um, charming and he's humble, but at the same time, there's this mystery about him with his background. So maybe talk to me a little bit about appearances and expectations versus like the authenticity of following passions and skill sets. Wow, mad interesting. Um, <laughs> authenticity and expectation. So. I mean, yeah, one of the main themes about this is expectation, right? Expectation from the parents for these people to get married, expectations from the community to, to you know, intercede into their lives and try and figure things out. Expectation in Ravi's mind that, oh, here comes a, 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 a you know, a date that my my mom chose. Um, that's all expectation. When authenticity comes through, it changes, you realize that it's not about expectation. Expectations don't help. Ambitions and openness to the moment really, really, really help. I feel like this movie really goes to show that, right? When the relationships between the parents, between, uh, you know, uh, Asha and Ravi, becoming true to yourself, living truthfully, mm -hmm. like not lying so that my parents feel less bad or doing something good and not being honest about it because you don't know what the other person will think or not think or, you know, all that kind of stuff. It's super important to communicate, understand each other and be honest. And I feel like this movie, it talks about many things in many ways, but it really, I feel like it really talks about that, right? Mm. Specificity mm. and honesty. Mm. And, uh, it's fun. Boom. I love that there has that deep aspect to it, but then it's still like colorful and dance. Yeah, and yeah exactly. It's fun. It's light. That's the truth of it, right? Like life yeah. is light. The choices we make tend to make it a little heavier. Right. And, and, you know, Paul, one of the things I, that I love is the importance of believing in yourself and having that confidence and going after a dream, but then also the equal power that can come from somebody else believing in you and supporting that, whether it comes from a significant other or a parent or a sister, maybe talk a little bit about, about the, those different things. Yeah. I mean, I think Asha's journey is one where, as you say, she's sort of doing it alone and, and in isolation and feeling like she has to be the support system to everyone around her and I have certainly suffered from that in my own life you know like I think it's something that a lot of perhaps children of migrant migrant backgrounds without limiting it to that category um, feel because there is this intergenerational pressure to perform and to do well within the scope of, of of what it is to be an immigrant kid and the opportunity that's been afforded to you by virtue of your parents migrating so I think there's that element. And I think as a woman, you know, women in general are, are, are hypersensitive often and empath empathetic to the people that they love and are, are carers. And I think Asha imbues all of those qualities. And, you know, the the, the intersectionality of that with being just a, a someone who's probably been othered in her life growing up by virtue of being a brown woman. I just think that it would have created a concoction and a storm within her that, that made her for, forge this path and be a leader and be someone who thinks she could do it all. 
And actually, you know, her journey with Robbie shows her that she's allowed to open her heart and let someone in and she's allowed to rest a little bit in that love and in that warmth. And that is something that I definitely um, was reminded of through this film while I was making it with with Suraj. Yeah, well, good. Well, thank you guys so much for taking the time. I absolutely loved it. And I cannot wait for audiences to go see it. Thank you. Thank you. Never gonna happen. Never gonna happen. How can you be so sure of that?